Hello, this is Dr. Dennis Hartlieb, and welcome to Cosmonet's Tip of the Month. Today's presentation is using Cosmicore for post cementation and direct resin buildup for the debilitated central incisor. So, today we're going to be talking about Cosmonet's core buildup material. I'm going to show how I use that to restore a anterior tooth that needs a post and core post root canal therapy, and how I'm using it to cement the post and to also use it for the buildup. So we'll go through the technique here. This is a patient that has gone through periodontal crown lengthening therapy and was referred to me for the restorative treatment necessary for the maxillary anterior segment. So as you can see, there is already post placed on tooth number seven, post and core. There's a post and core placed on number nine. So today we're gonna to be placing the post and core for tooth number eight. So the patient has returned back to me after having ended on a treatment on tooth number eight. And you can see the amount of tooth structure that we have available still is, is nice, so we have enough ferrule. So we want our post to be able to help maintain the buildup material. So first I'm going to be creating the post space. I will try in my Cera post from Brassler. This is a zirconia post. And to be certain that the post doesn't shift or move while we take the verification x-ray, I'm going to be using a material from Cosmodent called GingerGuard. GingerGuard essentially is a liquid rubber dam material. I'm going to apply that around the post onto the tooth structure and we're going to light cure that for 10 seconds. This material will maintain its flexibility, but it also will adhere to the tooth structure slightly and just keep the post stable while we're taking the x-ray. Before cementing the post, I'm going to use the diamond burr that comes with the Serapost kit. This is used just to roughen up the walls of the internal aspect of the root system to get more mechanical adhesion with our post cementation. So I'm going to first start out with my 37% phosphoric acid. I'm going to inject that into the post system. And I don't show it, but I'm actually going to apply the etchant onto the facial surface of this preparation area as well. I leave that for 15 seconds. We're going to rinse off the excess and I'll be using dry points to remove any of the excess water. Following removal of the excess water, we want to leave the dentin moist, but not overly moist. I'm going to apply the adhesive system from Cosmodent. This is a Cosmodent Complete Dual Cure. The Cosmocore is a dual cure core material, so we have to make sure that we're using an adhesive system that is also dual cure, or an adhesive that does not need to be light cured. So with the Cosmonet Complete system, the red bottle is the fifth generation adhesive that has a primer and the unfilled resin combined, and that material is light curable. But because we're going to be curing so far down into the post space, it would not be possible for our light to be able to travel that far down into the post system and be confident that we're going to have great adhesion. So we're going to need to use a dual cure system or add a catalyst to our Cosmonet Complete. And that's the black bottle with the yellow label. So with this system, you want to use two drops of the Cosmonet Complete 5th generation primer, that's with the red bottle, and one drop of the catalyst, that's with the yellow bottle. We're going to apply multiple coats, three to five coats of our primer with the catalyst. We want to make sure that we get the adhesive down into the canal space, so I may use dry points again to make sure that we're getting the adhesive all the way down into the post system. And then we're going to air thin and we're going to use high volume suction to remove the excess. And I'll use dry points to remove the excess primer adhesive into the post space. Now we don't light cure this because the, the, the catalyst is going to make the system self curable so that we don't have to worry about light penetrating all the way down into that canal system. Using these needle nose tips from the centric system, I'm going to be injecting the Cosmocore dual cure core build material down into the post space. This is the A2 Cosmocore. And I'm going to make sure I bring the Cosmocore to fill up the internal aspect of the canal system. And then I'm going to place some of the Cosmocore onto the tip of the post. Now the post has been pre-treated with either Rocketech or Cojet. 
that will enhance the bond to the zirconia post. So the cosmic core now is placed on onto the post and the post is going to be seated into the canal system making sure that we bring the post all the way down to its full extent. Now I'm going to start adding more Cosmocore around the post and the thing that's really nice about this Cosmocore as you'll see on the photographs there's very little slumping with the Cosmocore. It flows very nicely, it's easily placed and I don't have to worry about the the slumpiness of the material. One of the other advantages of Cosmocore is I can light cure this in increments. So I can go ahead and add some of the Cosmocore. I can light cure for an initial 10 seconds to hold its position. And then I can continue on and add Cosmocore to create the proper form that I want. So I continue to add the Cosmocore to make sure that I'm sealing all the way around the post. And I can use an explorer or some sort of instrument to get a um, more ideal form before I eventually do my final light cure. Now I'm with a traditional halogen light. I'm going to light cure my cosmic core for 60 seconds, both from the facial and the palatal, to make sure that the cosmic core, the core building material, is sufficiently cured. Once the cosmic core has been adequately polymerized, then I can go in with my traditional crown and bridge burrs. This is a burr from Brassler and I'm going to create my preparation and what you'll find with Cosmocore is that it preps so similar to tooth structure that it's not too soft a material and it's not too firm and you're able to through your preparation going in and refining my preparation and smoothing my preparation with another of the wrestler burrs and finally polishing the preparation with my rubber cups from Cosmodent this is the flexi cup system from Cosmodent I want to make sure that the tooth preparation is nice and smooth which will make it easier and more predictable for my lab technician and I want to make sure that the Cosmocore is polished prior to making my provisional because I want to be certain that my provisional doesn't bond to the core build-up material because this is a composite material you know very similar to the BIS-GMA materials we're going to be using with our provisionals and there is a look at the final preparation after we've completed the post and core build-up the preparation and the polishing with the flexi cup system. Well, I hope you find this tip from Cosmodent, the tip of the month. Hope you find this tip helpful. If you're interested in more information on cosmetic dentistry and anterior bonding or posterior bonding, uh, feel free to like my page on Facebook. It's Heart League Seminars. And feel free to ask questions and respond to the postings I've made on other cases. And I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks again.